welcome to vlogmas day 10 Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas day 10. I can't believe it's 10 more days to Hanukkah, 15 more days to Christmas, and 16 more days to Kwanzaa. That is how quickly we are approaching the holiday season. December is saying hello and it's quickly fading away. So we gotta enjoy it while it's here, right? So I'm coming to you at the end of the day to bring you the highlights. As you saw in the previous videos, I was able to wrap up our book for today, our gift of reading, like I like to call it, placed it by our tree, then a student unwrapped it and we read it to the class. I wanted to give you a closer look at this book. It is an amazing story that follows two boys one comes from a Jewish family and one comes from a Muslim family and they happen to live in the same street in New York but on opposite sides and there's a lot of similarities between the time that they celebrate Rosh Hashanah and Ramadan because as the author says about every 30 years Rosh Hashanah and Ramadan fall around the same time so let me give you a closer look at this story the story is a moon for Mo and Mo by Jane Breskin Zalbin and it is a great story. The students really enjoyed it. So yeah, they mentioned food. There's also some recipes on the back that students can try and families can try. But the illustrations in this book are so beautiful because they combine like actual little illustrations that you draw in color with marker, but also photographs. If you notice, these are real photographs of the different ingredients. So that is a pretty cool. So yeah, Mo is Moses and Mo is Muhammad. So it's a really great story about two families and some similarities that they share. So I really enjoyed sharing the story with the students and I can't wait to continue to share a book every day with them leading up to December 20th, which is the last day that we are together before they go on their winter break holiday. And here are the recipes in the back. So for Ramadan is for date cookies and for Rosh Hashanah is for Rogalash. So beautiful, beautiful story that I love sharing with the kids. This morning I brought back an oldie but goodie that I haven't used in a while because I noticed that some of the weeks were a little bit further ahead than where we were in our Go Math series. But I brought back my weekly reviews that I get from One Stop Teacher Shop. And I really like these because they go over all the previous chapters that the students have learned so far so that they keep fresh in their mind all those mathematical concepts starting from chapter one, which was on place value. So let me show you my example of the one that we completed today today since we didn't do it yesterday we did Monday and Tuesday and tomorrow the students will do Wednesday but it's great because it offers that spiral review that I need them to be able to practice every week so here it goes so this is the weekly math review again this is by one stop teacher shop on TPT and I bought the whole entire year worth of these and right now we're working on this one so we went over chapter one this is chapter one this is chapter two and three well, this is chapter two and three, this is chapter four, and this combines problem solving that we learned from all those chapters. This is chapter five, both of these, and this is chapter six where we are right now working with equivalent fractions. Really love this because like I said, it reviews previous concepts that we have learned so that the students can practice those and don't forget them. With that, the students also finished their mid-chapter checkpoint and then we went on to complete our chapter three assessment in social studies. So between that math test that they were finishing and the social studies test that they took today, I decided that I'm just going to give them the reading wonders test tomorrow. I was initially going to give it to them yesterday or today, and it just didn't work out that way, but that's how it happens sometimes. And I did have one of my other students that hadn't finished their iReady testing finished today. 
So after the social studies test, we just went back into our snowman, our theme snowman that we have been working with this particular unit. And because I had a handful of students that were done with their snowman, but I was waiting for some to finish, I did manage to give an optional assignment with two choices. The students could choose between either choice to complete, still working on the concepts that we were working on in this unit, where is theme and character development. So check it out. The first option students had was to complete a character analysis on any character from the main selection or the text that we were reading about the ant and the bees. The second option was to have them create a theme anchor chart since the theme is the comprehension skill that we are working on right now. I wanted to show you an example of one that a student was working with and I do want to show you an example of the character analysis sheet which is a sheet that I created myself. This is the character analysis sheet. So they put their name, the date, the title of the story, the name of the character, and they do have this person outline that they can design to make it look like the character they are focusing on. And basically they're gonna write thoughts, like a common thought that that character thinks, what they see, hear, smell, says, feels, touches, actions, and hopes and dreams. So a lot of them chose this one, but I did have a few students choose the anchor chart. Here is one example of an anchor chart a student is working on. And this is the student's completed snowman on theme. Here's another example of that theme anchor chart with the completed snowman itself. And these are the questions that they were working with for that particular story, which is titled Grant and the Flower Stem. And here's an example of a student working on the character analysis. They're working with the character Pepe from the story Ranita. So that right now they're working on drawing the character and then they'll complete this information on the side. So yeah, that's basically what we were working on. We didn't have time for science today. So tomorrow that will be a very important thing to focus on as we start our day tomorrow. Well, after the reading test, because they do have to take their reading test because we got to like catch up on that as well. But other than that, we have pretty much covered most of the subjects today and the students are just engaged in learning and we're still hitting those standards. So that's what counts. All right, so I will have to end it here. I am not doing anything particularly interesting after school. I'm very tired, so I'm just going home. And I hope you enjoy coming along with us on our day 10 of Vlogmas. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day, and don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.